Um, I personally have zero bad experiences with that company and I have zero bad experiences with Mike. Um, he gave me opportunities that nobody else did. He, um, believed in me fully. Um, he, yes. in his interview, like just the way he speaks and the way he, that's just Mike. Like, yeah. Like he comes people... across like very like, I am a, like, you know, like I don't want to say it in a rude way, but it's like, he comes across very, like, like, I don't know the way to explain it. Snobby. <laughs> yeah, like, like, just, just, like, just very, like, you don't know if he's being a fucking... He's got an air of arrogance about him when you don't know him. It, 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 yeah. It, 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 I, I definitely... Because I felt it too when I didn't know him. But once you get to know him, he's just a weird guy who doesn't... Who's socially awkward and never really... Fit figured that out um but surprisingly uh, he, enough you see a lot of people like that in professional wrestling yeah a lot like it, for some reason we can like turn on this switch when we're in front of people but i'm i'm poor i have like horrible horrible social anxiety and you'd never know it because i grew up a ballerina and was on stage from the time I was two years old and then went right into wrestling and like being in front of people with lights on me that's where I'm comfortable. I can do anything on that stage. You put me in a situation where I have to talk to somebody face to face, and I'm like, super. Like I <laughs> just heaps, like, just heaps like withdrawn <laughs> from it, right? Yeah, it's just it's totally different, and um, that's that's a lot of us. And um, uh, I know like other people have gotten heat for saying that they didn't have problems with Chikara, but I truly didn't have problems with Chikara, and mm. uh did I, are there things Mike did in his past that were shady and crappy? Yeah. Yeah. I've heard about it. It, it. There was, but he, he, by the time I got there and worked there, none of that was happening anymore. And he had changed a lot, a lot from what I had heard. And, um, in the situation where something happened with somebody who was working there and stuff. And this was right before speaking out. Um, there was a particular person who was a trainer there that a lot of horrible things came out bad about and mm. um i got a personal phone call like i didn't even know what had happened really yet um yeah. because i i wasn't one of the people involved and i was again that was a person who treated me completely differently than apparently he was treating a lot of other people mm. um and uh but I still received a personal phone call from Mike where he talked to me and he made sure I was okay and said, did anything ever happen to you? And I am pretty sure he called every single person on the roster that day. Yeah. Um, so it, 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 it hurts. It hurts that Shakara is gone. That was a family for me. Um, in a way, a lot more of a family for me than CCW was towards the end. Um, and I'm still very close to a lot of people that were on that roster to this day and um it, it it definitely left a hole in my heart that that company disappeared um but things happen for a reason i can't say it didn't happen for a reason um and it sucks but it doesn't mean we can't move on from this and like i said i can't i can't speak ill of people when they didn't do anything to me so i don't have any bad experiences for me it's just more mm. the hurt of knowing that that stuff did happen there in a place that i love so much